personal reflection and gratitude that I am unable to express. I remember when I came down here writing poetry, broken hearted, sick and crying. And I saw this and I just glanced over and I saw this. And I'm thinking there is no way. It's like, man, wow. But I prayed and asked God. Yes, he did answer me. But that's not the best part. The best part is Romans 5, 8. Yet while I was still in my sin, dead in my trespasses, Jesus died for me. Yes, he did. For God so loved the world, he gave his one and only son. That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. He did not send his world, his son into this world to condemn them, but to convict them of their sins. And anyone who rejects him is already condemned. And I thank you, God. I thank you in Jesus' name. I pray for every unsaved soul that the Holy Spirit will pierce their hearts, interrupt their lives, and give them a clear gospel message while they are still in the land of the living. No one knows the day or the hour, but your word says it is coming. The judgment, the wrath, the standing before you and giving an account, it is coming. And only those who profess Jesus as Lord and hold to his teachings are his disciples and will see you face to face. In Jesus' name, Lord, hear me and answer me. Save many souls, God, if not all, some, if not someone, and I will rejoice with the angels who scream glory, hallelujah, when one soul repents and turns to Christ. In his name I pray, amen.